guys and welcome in this new video on the game engine series. Now in the previous video we created our character, a warrior and we animated. We, we did it by using some variables like the frame count, uh, animation speed and stuff. But in this video we're going to be creating a class which is going to handle animation whenever we need it. So like we have an object and we know that this object is going to have an animation in it so we could simply add the animation component to that object and then animate it easily because if we do it the way we did it in the previous video then when we will create the enemy we will need to re-implement all those things that we did for the warrior which is not so you know optimal that's not what we want that's not the idea of a game engine an engine is like we just add component to object and give them more features so that's what we're going to be doing in this video. So let's get started. Now, the first thing we need to know is to create a new class. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> create a new class. So we're just going to call it animation. That's all we're going to give us name. So we also need to create a new folder for that animation. So I'm going to call that folder animation. You can call it whatever you want. That not important. So in this case, we're going to be taking a C++ file also. So just create it. Yes, we want to edit. So we just go ahead and open that animation folder. So we have our animation class right here on the screen. And the animation function, the animation class will take a tree method for now because we're going to be writing more stuff in it. But for now, we're going to be adding only tree method. So we have this tree method right here. So the first one is going to be update, the second one is to draw, and the third one is to set the property of the animation, like set the texture ID, the sprite row. The number of frame so we're gonna be saying frame count to make this more consistent plus frame count the animation speed and now if we have to flip or not so that's that's the idea those are the three functions that we need for now for our animation now the constructor don't need anything for now we will customize that probably later now just stick with that so if I switch over to my CPP file the constructor I don't need it here because I already have it in the other side so I'm gonna be including those three functions so I have them here and since we have this STL variable here it's also good for us to include STL right here So we include STL. So I think we also have string, so we need to include string as well. Or we'll have some issue coming around. So I think those are the two, the two most important components that we need. But we still haven't defined uh, the parameters that are going to be, you know, those properties right here. You remember those frame? I'm going to be calling this. Sprite, sprite row, because you know it's a sprite animation. We're gonna be dealing with uh, image sequence animation later on. For now, we just uh, dealing with animation with sprite shape. But we're gonna be adding image sequence animation. We have sprite row. We have sprite frame. Remember. So we also need animation speed and uh, yeah we also need a frame count so we also need a texture ID then put the type here so we're gonna be saying std string texture ID also need the flip guy so as the L render and the flip 
this one let me see so those are the important parameters we need for now so we just move to our cpp file and there in the update function if you remember what we have written uh, in our update function in the warrior we can simply set it right here so we just say the sprite frame that has to be drawn on the screen right now is equal to get tick and divided by the animation speed and we make sure that we never go over the frame count that's the first thing now since we're going to be drawing this on the screen we have our texture manager which handles all this so we simply include our texture manager right here texture manager here and we call our draw frame function so texture manager get the instance and we say draw frame now we pass the texture id we pass the if you see this function actually takes the position the sprite width and the sprite height so we just pass the x and the y some space there now the sprite width is going to be the width and the sprite sprite height is going to be the height and uh, we also have um, the row we have our sprite row which we've defined the frame is going to be sprite frame and the last parameter is the flip so we have it this is our draw function for animation now the set property we simply set our value so our properties your id is equal to your id sprite sprite wrong right here sprite row oh, i forgot something about sprite row so i'm gonna refact sprite row where the ah okay it's over here sprite row this is one Be like this so the sprite row do we have yeah right. mm -hmm. you say sprite Admit row called sprite <coughs> sprite row and the sprite frame is gonna be equal to sprite how oh, the sprite frame is actually actualized by the update function <laughs> I'm sorry now we need the frame count frame count is equal to frame count Also need to set this here. Putting oh, a lot right now. So frame count, and uh, we have the animation speed. It's going to be equal to mean speed. Now and lastly, the flip. It's going to be equal to flip. So now we have our basic animation class created. We want to test this on our character that we created before. So switch over to your warrior. So now instead of having this variable defined right here, we're simply gonna add an animation here. So we go ahead and include animation because we want to use it right here. So we say animation a pointer and we say um, animation yeah and yeah we can go ahead and remove this so you can comment it if you because I want to make sure I'm not doing anything with that for now so just do this so and here I'm gonna be calling animation and I will initialize our variable from here see still need to create it first let's I create it sure exist now I initialize set properties set props the first one is the texture 
So we're going to be saying texture ID. The second one is the sprite row. If you remember, it's one. This, the frame count, the frame count, I think it was six. And the animation speed, let's go for 80. Now we don't want to flip it, we just leave it like that. So, or maybe let's let's go ahead and flip SDL, flip horizontal. So, do it like that. Now, instead of calling the texture manager draw, draw frame function, we'll simply call the animation animation function. So, we say draw. Now we can simply pass our transform. We we'll say M transform and also need the y axis and uh, the third parameter was i think 136 no we already have it m width and m height and instead of calculating this frame right here by our own so we simply call our update function animation update so I hope yeah, it doesn't take anything. So that's it for now. We just want to run this and see if it's working. We haven't changed anything in the in the engine class. In the engine, yeah, in the engine class. So we can see right here we have our animation. It's flip as, as we want it. So I said here flip horizontally. So you can see that it is flipped and the animation is working as pretty well. So and, and I think it's better like this because we won't have to struggle with all those variable like you know uh, frame row and thing in the warrior class the warriors need things about you know um, physics and transform and those kind of stuff that are important for it so the animation is just a component that is going to be added to it so that's why it's better for us to have a separate class which handles animation for objects so guys, um, thank you for watching this video on Mexico channel. Consider supporting me on, on Patreon and uh, leave a comment in the description below if you have any question or concern. And you guys know where to find the source code. I'll provide a link in the description below. And thank you. Ciao.